Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. Um, today we are going to use the Fibonacci retracement in our trades in our scalping session and I really wanted to remind everyone that Fibonacci itself is not a separate strategy. It is just hit and run and 20 pips a day but this time we are using Fibonacci retracement to identify the correct support and resistance levels. So it's, oh, it's just a tool to save our time. For example, if I want to analyze this trade, remember I am right now on the five minute time frame. And if I want to understand exactly where uh, the best support or resistance level, instead of wasting my time and just trying to analyze the market and drawing the resistance line right here like that, what I can do is ju just to save my time is draw a Fibonacci retracement. And it can save my time by telling me that indeed this is exactly the resistance line you want to draw. Not here, it's right here. So it's just a way to save your time and to just find the best levels of support and resistance. Nothing more. It's not just a separate strategy. That is what I have seen from some of the comments. They think that this is a separate strategy. They want uh, another video explaining it. Again, it is just sim simply hit, uh, uh, hit and run 20 pips a day and only we are applying Fibonacci retracement to be sure where to place our trades. So for example, right now, I am on the AUD CAD on 15 minute time frame, And what I'm about to do right now is draw a Fibonacci retracement right from this high here to this higher low. Now, as you can see, I'm telling you always that we should never try uh, to use Fibonacci retracement blindly. We can see that we are having right here Fibonacci level 50 and the pair is exactly right now on this level. Now, it's not going to be smart idea at all to open a buy order just because you are seeing the candle on the Fibonacci level 50 right here. There is a reason. Why? Because we can see that the market has just reversed from 61.8. Therefore, it is really not smart at all to place a buy order right now because we never just place the buy and sell uh, blindly every time the candle touch any Fibonacci level retracement. So what is the right thing to do right now? Uh, the best thing we do, <clears throat> and I'm telling you always to uh, use common sense when you are uh, using the Fibonacci retracement. What you can do is wait for the pair to fall to the level 38.2 because as we can see, the very same level was also a previous resistance in the past and it was also a support. That means this, uh, this resistance level has been followed later by this bullish breakout candle and from that point, once the candle touched the level 38.2, now it's gonna make more sense to open another buy order and wait for the market to make, an, uh, to make a second attempt on Fibonacci 61.8. So we're going to have a second resistance attempt right on this level. So let's see how many pips is that going to give us. It's about nine or eight pips, which is totally fine if you are using the hit and run strategy. Now, let's say that you want to use the 20 pips a day. If you are, if you are after the 20 pips a day, then it's not really uh, worth it to use the 15 minute time frame. Better use to the, use the four hour chart or one hour chart to find the absolute 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 good levels to uh, enter your trades so let's now search together and try to find any good setup that i can actually enter and make some a decent profit using uh, the 20 pips a day and also fibonacci retracement check it out on the pound nzd uh, sorry pound gpy so as you can see right now, I am on the uh, one hour chart and I'm going to draw a Fibonacci retracement right from this higher high here to this low right here. Actually, I'm a bit late. Uh, if we want to analyze it uh, logically, we can see that we had here a previous support. That support has been later broken out by this long bearish breakout candle. Therefore, exactly check it out exactly on level 50 was perfect to place a sell order right here and expect the market to continue falling all the way down until it hit that nearest resistance, which is also Fibonacci 23.6. So actually we are late by, yeah, so far by 10 pips. And that was a good setup uh, for a 20 pips and we have missed it. However, 
Um, I know I am late. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm still gonna open the trade because it's obviously uh, the market is gonna continue falling until it hit this level of the resistance. Uh, that is uh, 14 pips, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Yeah, almost 13, 14 pips. Almost 14 pips we can still get from this trade. Even though my trade is uh, late, I'm still on the Fibonacci 38.2. So that means there is a chance that the market is still going to continue reversing right from that point. I don't think it's going to go, go up at all. It's right from that point the market is going to continue falling down until it hit 23.6. And again, we need to look here at the left just to be sure that our trade is correct. We can see we are having also a resistance attempt here. That means entering a sell order here. I agree it is late. However, it is not wrong. Let's keep digging more and let's see where we can place another trade. Um, actually, let me just tell you that these kinds of uh, markets, when you see the market has been ranging like that for the five for the last five hours, it's a market that you really don't want to trade. You don't want to open any trade right here. Uh, that's kind of market that you want to avoid until you see what will gonna happen and who will win this battle. Is it the bulls or the bears? Let's keep looking. AUD USD. So far, I don't see anything good here. However, let me show you the power of Fibonacci. If look at that, I mean, the common sense way to draw Fibonacci is going to be from this high to this low here, right? I'm going to do something crazy right now. I'm going to zoom in like that and I'm going to draw Fibonacci from this tiny high, this lower high here to this higher low. Just like that. Look at that. Perfect. The pair has respected that previous resistance. We can see that the market has reversed right from that previous support and created the new resistance. The market is currently falling for 7 pips. So therefore it's not really worth it. Uh, I just wanted to show you the power of this strategy. So let's keep looking. I'm just trying to find any good setups that I can actually enter. Um, I'm aiming at 20 pips uh, from each trade. Let's see this one here. I'm going to draw a Fibonacci retracement right from that high here to this low. And of course, it's not blindly trade. We can see that we're having right here a previous resistance and the market had also a previous support. And it is 61.8. It's, 61 .8. it's the, the market between 61.8 and 50 retracements, which is actually good. However, we need to be careful. Actually, I'm going to place the sell order right away. And the take profit level is going to be at this retracement 23.6 which is gonna be 14.6 pips of profit please look down we can see that all of the trades so far are going in profit that's a really good way of scalping and um i'm not aiming a lot of profit in this video i just wanted to show you what options do you have uh, using the Fibonacci retracement, how it can help you to spot so many good setups and don't miss them. Also, it can help you to know exactly where to place the trade and where to, to, uh, to place the take profit levels. So we are still looking. Uh, I'm just trying to find any decent setup at all. So far, nothing yet. Mm -mm, nothing yet so far. Pound in the D again. Uh, pound AUD. We might need to pause the video uh, until I find something else. Alright then, let's pause the video guys and I'll be back to you once I find another setup. Alright, so looking at the Euro GPY, I'm gonna place the sell order quickly because I need to show you. By the way, uh, I'm, I'm receiving a lot of questions about uh, the broker I'm using. How come the entry or the trigger area is exactly at where the price is uh, right now? Um, I told you before guys I'm using IC markets as my broker. I really trust them and I believe they are the best uh, forex broker in the world especially when it comes to scalping because they are using 0, 0.0 pips spread with only a small commission and I think it's really fair. Um, I appreciate you can support the channel by opening account in IC markets using the link provided in the description below this video. You can open account in IC markets and you can try it out for, your, uh, for yourself and see by yourself how it's really very uh, trustworthy broker and very um, flexible in your trades and I'm sure it's gonna change the way you are trading. I mean 
I, it's really beautiful feeling when you open the thread and the trigger area is exactly where you wanted it to be. I mean, look at that. The, the spread is just 0.2 pip only. That, that's almost nothing. And the commission is just $1, $1.40. Dollar, $1 and that is totally nothing, to be honest. Anyway, uh, let me just show you the reason I opened the thread on the Euro GPY. Uh, if we opened right here, uh, if, if we draw a Fibonacci retracement right from that high here, to that low like that it's obvious that the level right now is on the current price is right now on 61.8 and the market has actually reversed from that level now remember i'm applying fibonacci on a very tiny uh, time frame like, like or a small um how can i say that usually fibonacci retracement being drawn on the bigger on the bigger scale yeah scale that's the word i'm looking for scale usually it's being used on a bigger scale like that what i'm doing is different what i'm doing is my strategy is like that actually draw fibonacci on a smaller scale like that and still it pays off and the trade still going in profit in my favor so anyway uh, since I have placed my trade right here on the Fibonacci level 50, I'm expecting from the pair to continue falling at least to 23.6. I'm going to set my take profit th uh, there, uh, $24, which is 13 pips. And look at that. The market is already reversing. Now, of course, we need to explain here something that I didn't place this trade blindly. As we can see, the market is heading up. Therefore, it was really risky to open the trade right here. Uh, I just analyzed something before uh, continue recording uh, going to the daily candles we can see that right here the price is exactly on a previous resistance euro gpy on the daily candle is right now facing a resistance level and we are also right here we're exactly at the resistance level therefore going back to the one hour chart and placing another sell order at the resistance seemed to be smart idea I'm expecting from the pair since we are on the resistance on the daily candle uh, we are, I, I, I'm expecting from the market to actually continue falling all the way to hit that support level that's gonna be uh, 26 pips of profit however uh, just to be safe and since I just want to make some scalping session right now I set my tech profit to be right on that previous small resistance level right here and so far the trades are going in profit look at that uh, pound gpy is still going in profit and it's approaching the take profit level um aud gpy also going in the profit and the euro gpy also going in profit so basically we are selling all the all the yen pairs uh, the yen is getting stronger right now and we are selling uh, the pairs against uh, the japanese yen so I'm just keep looking here and there to find another setup to show you my friends. However, I think we I think currently the market is not really offering us uh, much setups to look for. Therefore, I think that will be enough for now and therefore let's just wait for these uh, trades to finish and I will come back to you. So, let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these running trades. So just wanted to show you what's going on. Uh, actually, I'm going to place another sell order here because the market has again reached level 50 on the AUD GPY. And we can see that this level was strong resistance in the past. And after seeing this bearish breakout candle, I'm sure that resistance is going to remain as a resistance. What we are seeing right now is the market is actually trying to make uh, double wicks on the same level here. And actually, to be uh, honestly funny, I mean, <laughs> I mean, to be honestly, uh, frankly speaking here, um, I am planning to set maximum of $100 loss if, if it went uh, really bad. I mean, that will be the maximum uh, loss uh, I will accept. It was actually in $40 of profit. And if I see the total loss is going to be $100, then I'm going to close that with the loss. Uh, that's my personal money management and i really cannot advise you guys to follow it i'm just using this money management system since years and it is actually suitable for me and um, i just know how to do it i know how to manage myself so it's really up to you if you want to open multiple trades on the same currency or the same pair uh, personally I, I actually do it and so far it's working well with me so anyway uh, let's wait and see what will gonna happen so far we can see that the trades are going 
um, mostly in going in loss and that is totally normal um, if that rate for example we can see the uh, AUD GPY if it's gonna continue rising I can expect another reversal on 61.8 because we can see that we had also a previous resistance attempt on the very same level right here uh, if the market has broken out from that level that means most likely it's gonna it's gonna continue rising and uh, in that scenario I'm going to close with the loss however so far things are going well and I think eventually the the candles are gonna reverse so I need now to pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these rolling trades and as we can see so far everything is going very well and the euro gpy is approaching the tech profit level with just one pip away i think that's fine we can close the trade with the profit right now there is absolutely no need to keep it running uh, more than that um aud gpy also still reversing i told you my friends the pair most likely is going to this level to create the double wicks as you can see what i said has really happened by the way i was not of course 100 percent sure it's gonna happen it, it was just uh, instinct or my analysis or my expectation and i told you i was ready for the loss of course if, if uh, the loss is, g is gonna be a uh, hundred dollars so i was prepared for the losses i didn't uh, or I wasn't 100% sure that the price is going to reverse here. However, that is just from my experience. I analyzed it and I expected for it to create double wicks here. And indeed, it's reversing. So everything is going well so far. Let me just now again pause the video and I'll come back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these uh, remaining trades. So I just wanted to show you about the AUD GPY. We have, as you, as you can see, two trades opened here. The first one is going in. 15 pips of profit the other one going in um, almost 12 almost 12 pips of profit that's 27 pips of profit which is really more than good and it's enough actually that's fine um, by the way this trade here for the pound gpy i'm gonna close it right now and end it with a break even because i just want to end the video to be honest with you frankly speaking and again this one here uh, 15 pips of profit for the first trade uh, almost 13 trade, uh, pips uh, profit from the second one i think that's enough that's fine we can end this uh, video right now uh, that was just the morning scalping session and i just needed to end the video right now of course i will continue trading the whole day that was just part of the session in the morning and i just wanted to share it with you so um i believe you guys have learned more in this video about how to apply the uh, Fibonacci retracement in your live trading sessions and how to find the strong support and resistance levels um, as I said I'm gonna start doing uh, um, short live trading videos like this one 15 16 minutes only and we are going to post more and more live trading videos because I know it is exactly what you need in, uh, in order to become a better trader so we have made approximately I think 70 dollars of profit maybe something less or more anyway it was fine so far and i will continue trading as i said anyway in the end i really hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching